Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a feisty couple in love that loves a good Fight Night Friday. Friday. So for this Fight Night Friday, we're going back to the Soul Calibur series. Uh, we haven't done a ton of Soul Calibur, but we're checking out all Soul Calibur series intros. Uh, the video says it's all Soul Calibur series intros. I hope it is all Soul Calibur series intros. Uh, if you want all of our Soul Calibur reactions, check out the description of this video for a playlist. Yeah. Okay. You ready to do this? I'm ready. Pirates! Transcending history and the world, a tale of soul and swords, eternally retold. Do these <laughs> nunchucks have like blades at the end of them? Oh, that would be terrifying. Yeah. Yes! Sorry, I ripped a hole in your tent. That's very green. Mm -hmm. Electric lime green. <laughs> Big stretch! <laughs> Okay, and then all of a sudden she just lost her armor and is naked. For reasons. <laughs> bar fight. There must always be a bar fight. Mm -hmm. Furby statue. Whoa. A lot of buildings blowing up. Like the scorpion, and his face was the mask. It's gonna give me motion sickness. Mm -hmm. Oh, dodge. That means you're straight through. Is that the same dude, just with a different animal head, or is that a different dude, different animal? I have no idea. You should know these things. What is he? Interesting sword that he had. Butt shot. <laughs> okay, we're just focusing on her assets. <laughs> Wasn't that the character that, like, had the boob chart? Oh, it, yep, probably. Yep. I think it just makes me think of, like, the Chun Li character, uh, colors. Mm -hmm. The first one before that was, like, the Molina colors. There are a lot of female fighters in this game. Mm hmm.
Oh, okay. The drama. Soul Calibur. <laughs> That's all it's missing. Okay, now for a totally different kind of intro. Mm -hmm. well, all the, like, the games appear kind of in a little bit. Transcending fun. history Ooh. and the world. A tale of souls and swords eternally retold. Oh, that's my hair. Is that, is that Link? Yeah. It is Link! I don't know who she is. Well, so far, Link is the only person you, you know. Oh, there they are. Junk pirate. Nobody defeats hair. Ooh, nice. Oh yeah. Ooh. Think that's nightmare. Yeah, I can see why. <laughs> he's all like guts versus nightmare. Like I think he's like nightmare's like the sword itself. I think. Okay. Soul caliber. <laughs> Eventually, the announcer's gonna come in and say it. Hmm? It'll happen. Transcending history and the world, a okay. tale of souls and swords. Feels familiar. Retold. Yeah, just, just the same commercial or the same intro in a different aspect. You sure? Ooh. Hey, Hachi! Okay. So the different council, is this maybe like a different council? Like the different ones have different uh, characters? Because like, the first one had Link. I think that's the only difference I've seen is hey, Hachi and Link. Yeah, so far. Visit. Soul Calibur. I just gotta do it every time now. Soul Calibur 2. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Vindicate it. <laughs> Sliced. I swear to God, this is the exact same one. Just intro. And the world. It is. A tale of souls and swords eternally retold. Who this time? I don't know, but I'm skipping the rest of this. Who's gonna be the guest character? Bang, 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 bang. Spawn! Ooh. Nice! Ooh. That's cool. That was cool. Alright, but the rest of the game. Just 
Soul Calibur 2. Ooh. Yeah, there was an evil eye. And Take that evil sword. And a twist for good measure. Mm -hmm. It's taking over him and he's now nightmare. Oh, you can never kill a sword. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> awesome. It's like uh, Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Um, I don't think we brought enough guys. Just looked at him and the horse was like, fuck this. Yes. Yeah. I always trust your animals. <laughs> animals are smart. My crystal went off. There's trouble. Mm-hmm. Ooh, Ooh cool. yeah. Great design. All my favorite colors, blue, green, purple. That's really pretty. Why do I feel like she's gonna own you with her little parasol? <laughs> it's also a sword. Sweet. I'm going down, Pirate King. Mm -hmm. She seems like more clothed and less busty in this one. No, I think it's just the angles you focused on. Okay. She seems more covered up. Ooh! Nice move. Everyone's designing this, I love. Best intro. By far. I want to see how she uses that weapon. Yeah. Okay. That's just kind of like hula hoop with it. No, I mean, that's really cool. I haven't seen a weapon like that before. That's mm -hmm. very unique. <gasps> Holy! The hell? All right, Garrus. Oh! It's like, this is what I want the entire time. Blast me with your sand. Is that the future? I can see the future. That was my favorite one so far. Yeah, that was good. I like all the character designs in it. It was just, yeah. Felt more epic. This feels like a downgrading graphics, even though it's like the next one in the series. Maybe it was just how it was captured. Created 
solely to destroy Soul Edge. These two swords were always in the shadows when men truly desired power. This feels more like a trailer for like a movie. Mm-hmm. Three desired this power. Sultan Barbaros of the Ottoman Empire. Last Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. And one other. You. A boy who had lost everything. Oh. This is a story of those three lives and the two swords. Chosen by history, a man becomes a hero. Engraved into history, a hero becomes a legend. The light emanating from Soul Edge became a large pillar that covered the world. Is Godzilla here? <laughs> yes, it sounds like that it. emerged from that light. Oh, maybe spread throughout the world in an instant. They hunted men and destroyed kingdoms. People called those monsters evils and feared the mysterious life that had given birth to them, calling yeah. it the evil sea. On that day, the natural laws that governed the world changed forever. Was now forced to battle his arch the evil. Soul Calibur! Ooh, legends! Okay. You broke character halfway through that one. I did. Uh, that was. Sorry. Sorry, that was rubbish. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, I was like, ooh. I didn't expect the legends one. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> oh. It into the fire. <laughs> Destroy it, dude! Don't play with it. Nothing good comes from that. He's gonna play with it. Yep. Yep. I own you now. This should be fun. Hmm. The sword has a new puppet. Ooh. Okay, you're not messing around now. Oh, okay. A lot less closed now. Darth Vader? The music? Awesome. Fantastic. Ooh. Cool, I'm just gonna stand here while everything's falling down around me. Oh, that's impressive. Good move. Alice's brother. They don't talk about him much. Yeah. Screw your eyes. Ooh. He's gonna need more ice. <laughs> yeah. Soul Caliber. Oh, well done. You were in unison with the guy. Well done. Ooh, the 
those are some crazy eyes. An interesting makeup job. Hands, what have I done? Ooh. Oh, there she's back, nice. Ooh, okay. That's interesting. <laughs> the ringmaster. <laughs> yes, I love that he played with his mustache. Kratos! Awesome. Ooh. And this is, you know, early Kratos. This is. Greek Kratos, angry. Soul Calibur, broken destiny. Okay. Okay. It's just, it's a little bit less if like it doesn't earn. They didn't earn it as much. Excellent. You gotta earn it. Oh. <laughs> Come at me. And game over. Okay, so that was the end of the world. Yes. It was nice while it lasted. This is what it looks like at the end of the world. I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. Okay. You want to play? Let's play. All the souls of good versus all the souls of evil. Did it. Okay. Do you want to build stone? <laughs> Soul Caliber Five. Just as shadows are cast where there is light. History hides away more than one truth. The wait is over. Let's begin. Bless you. Thank you. Ooh, nice dodge. Welcome back to the stage of history. All right, so I think, I mean, I wish the intro for Soul Calibur 6 was a little bit longer, I mean, you know, it felt like they had been building up to it. Like five felt so 
epic. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think my favorite one still was three. Yeah, I agree. I mean, like, I don't know why it did stick out as some of the best graphics. Yeah. Um, also, just the costuming, the the mm -hmm. matchups that were in that, like everything just felt um, like it had the momentum. It, it had the energy behind it in, in a way that, didn't necessarily translate to some of the other trailers. Yeah, really got you pumped up. Um, I think the next one that would have been my favorite was uh, Darth Vader. Um, yeah, seeing seeing him like, so I thought that that whole that whole one was uh, was handled pretty well and uh, had had some good, like you said, m momentum and getting you pumped up. Uh, seeing the different characters, uh, the guest characters, I think was like one of my favorites in this. Uh, you know. We both were like, Kratos! Yeah. <laughs> that was fantastic. Yeah, I enjoyed the guest characters. It's it's fun to see some of our favorite characters from other games or, or franchises pulled into something unique and how do they interact with the mm -hmm. characters there and whatnot. So even though we're not super well-versed with Soul Calibur, no, just seeing Kratos lifted out of um, his world, seeing obviously Darth Vader lifted out of his world, they put them in environments conducive to their storylines like faders in like this lava world yeah. <laughs> and kratos is battling in like an amazon warrior mm -hmm. in in like a gorgeous ancient greece greece city um but yeah i i just it was still it's still just fun yeah agreed um why do they have three different intros for soul caliber 2 i mean the only thing that changed was like spawn uh, Heihachi and um, Link. Link. So, yeah, I'm wondering, like, depending on what console you, you got it on that they had it, or was it like when you booted up the game, you had three different intros and it would either show you one of the rotating cast of characters. I'm wondering why they didn't stick with that. So that's my question for, for Soul Calibur 2. I would be curious to know more about the lore of the characters. Like, okay. um... The oh, chick yeah. with the blue hair and the, the circular sword thing that was so unique. I mean, like, who the hell is she? Where is she from? How did she learn how to work with that weapon? Like, I have, I mean, there's so much I want to know about her. Um, we were both drawn into that character. Yeah. And then there was, like, um, one of the characters who was Asian with, like, an all red outfit. She stuck oh, out to the me. the parasol? Uh, they had the sword parasol? Um, I don't know if it was the same with the soul because she was in oh, pants. Okay, okay. It was an earlier earlier yeah, one. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, unless that was her, but like lifted out of her fighting. Um mm -hmm. but no, I just I she drew me in. Um, for whatever reason. Her her fighting drew me in. So And who was the dude that ripped off his face and was just a skeleton? Like I don't think we saw that again. Anybody ripping off their face and being a skeleton? No, no, that was a one time deal. Yeah. Uh pirate as well. Curious yeah. about. Yep. So we uh, were told that the intros that we saw were missing a couple, and then this uh, we actually saw the trailers for or the trailer for Soul Calibur Six, not the opening. So that's what we're adding on uh, here. Um, yeah. So our patrons let us know, and so thank you. Are you ready? I'm ready. Transcending history and the world, a tale of souls and swords eternally retold. Soul Edge, a legendary sword and devourer of souls. Buried in the darkest reaches of history, it was brought back to light in the 16th century. Who thought that was a good a idea? Notorious <laughs> Cervantes claimed the sword as his own, setting everything into motion. Soul Edge adapted itself to its new owner by mm. splitting into two. Possessed by the evil weapons, Cervantes began a bloody reign of terror, slaying all those seeking the swords without prejudice. <laughs> Cervantes was <laughs> the only one laughed at that. Undone. Under the protection of Hephaestus, the god of smithing, Ooh. a female warrior named Sophia oh, name was able to destroy one of the swords. Shh. Here you go, girl. Of the blade flew hmm. and lodged into her body, causing near mortal wounds. Hmm. Seeing his chance. Cervantes raised his sword to deliver the final blow. Suddenly, there appeared a ninja, yeah. Taki, who rescued the wounded warrior. Taki Good job, ninja. defeated Cervantes in a battle to the death before carrying the injured Sofitia away. However, 
one of Soul Edge's two blades still remained. Perhaps it was fate. Oh. The blade fell into the hands of Siegfried, whose mind was twisted and unwell. Oh, great. <laughs> You evil laugh. Ooh. He just looks very badass. Yeah. A pillar of light pierced the heavens, the product of rampant evil, the evil seed. No one could have predicted it would become a catalyst for catastrophe across the world. Our story takes place in the 16th century. Good opening. Gives you a lot more of the lore that you're looking for. Yoda! Yeah! Kick your ass, I will. <laughs> Force, bitch. <laughs> and a lightsaber. Oh, he's on the hex! Awesome! Wait, we don't get to see more? That's all there is in, the, in the, that intro for him. Oh, so sad. Yeah. So this is when we gotta check out. This is the I guess, Star Killer. Okay. He's in um one of the Star Wars games. We saw the trailers for it, but we need to check out the actual cutscenes. Because everyone that, like, has played that game and talks about him is just like, say he's a complete badass. I think that's the same character. I mean, he definitely has moves. Oh, look at that smirk. <laughs> I could be wrong. I think that was the same character. Okay. All right, so uh, I still think Soul Calibur 3 is my favorite of the of the intros and the openings, but Soul Calibur 6 probably takes the, the second spot now. Yeah, I mean that that was. I don't know which one of mine is the favorite, but that was that was a very impressive opening. I, I liked the sort of like the setting of the story, the mm -hmm. history element, the like the pirate. Yeah. Um, so I, I just I liked I like how they set the scene for that. Agreed. Um, okay. Let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. And if you want all of our Soul Calibur reactions, check out the description of this video for a playlist. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction. for Soul Calibur all openings, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive. Bucky disagrees with me. He thinks he says six is the best.